everyone. In last my video, I have taught you about the topic of application of marginal costing. And this is the practical question for your practice. And the question is, two competing companies, B Limited and Y Limited, produced and selling the same type of product in the same market for the year ended March 2002. Their forecasted profit and loss accounts are as follows. Sales B Limited and Y Limited is given. Variable cost for both limited is given. Fixed cost for both given. And then net profit given. And you are required to calculate profit volume ratio, break even sales, margin of safety. And you are also required to state which company is likely to earn greater profits in conditions of when low demand and when high demand. Uh, in my uh, last video, I have taught you regarding this uh, same topic uh, of this question and this is the practice question for the applying of that video and uh, you will calculate these points PV ratio S minus V upon S multiply 100 both applied in both limited companies break even sales fixed cost upon PV ratio margin of safety sales minus break even point and then you will calculate when demand is low and when demand is high which limited is better so answer pv ratio answer is b limited answer 20 percent y limited 40 percent will come and break even sales first b limited 125000 rupees and y limited 187500 rupees will come and margin of safety b limited 125000 rupees and for y limited 82500 rupees will come and uh, in low demand cases, B limited is better than Y limited and in high demand, Y limited will better than B limited. So when you dis do this question, if you have faced any problem, then you can ask from me. This is an additional application of marginal costing and the uh, application name is accepting a special order. In this order, we will, uh, can we accept the uh, any other order or uh, we uh, we will ignore fixed cost because it's an additional cost <coughs> original fixed cost we will cover it and the question is a factory produces 1000 articles for home consumptions at the following cost materials 40,000 rupees which is 36,000 factory overhead variable 20,000 rupees and fix 12,000 rupees total factory overhead 32,000 rupees administration Overhead all are fixed and rupees 18,000. Selling overhead fixed 10,000, variable 16,000. Total selling overhead 26,000. And total cost is 152,000. And selling price rupees 155 per unit. And the question is the foreign market for this product can, however, consume additional 4,000 articles if the price is reduced to 125 from 155 to 125. Is the foreign market worth? Trying. It means uh, we should accept the proposal of uh, foreign market or not. So we will apply this question or we will solve this question. As per the question, the given data is total V separate uh, variable cost and fixed cost separate. Uh, variable cost 40,000, 36,000, 20,000 and 16,000 and its total is 1 lakh 12,000 for 1,000 home market. Fixed cost 12,000, 18,000, 10,000 and its total is 40,000 for home market where 1,000 units are produced. And we will maintain a statement of profit of sales in home and foreign markets. Home market 1,000 units produced and its selling price rupees 155 per unit. Foreign market 4,000 units and its selling price rupees 125 each unit. And total column 1,000 plus 4,000 it means 5,000 units. First we will maintain sales at the rate of 155 and unit 1000 rupees then 1 lakh 55000 rupees and 5 lakh rupees and its total is 6 lakh 55000 rupees then less Variable cost, marginal cost, total variable cost 1 lakh 12,000 for 1,000 unit is given and we will multiply it by 4 because variable cost will vary according to units 
and total is it and now total quantity it's total 560000 rupees and now we will deduct this then contribution will come Forty three thousand, fifty two thousand, and total ninety five thousand rupees. Then less fixed cost. Fixed cost for one thousand unit is forty thousand rupees. But in this unit, foreign market units, we will ignore it because it's a special order and it's an additional unit. We will already covered uh, fixed cost in 1000 units, so we will ign ignore it. Then net profit 3000 in home market, 52000 in foreign market, and total profit is. 55,000. So, as per the above table, uh, we will see then uh, we will see that foreign market profit. Uh, if we uh, sell 4,000 units in foreign market, then pro our profit will 52,000 will increase, and in home market 3,000. So, we will accept this proposal and we will write this comment in also and this is mandatory so we should accept this proposal uh, if you have faced any problem then you can ask from me